Hey Raymond, how are you? I'm doing great. And welcome to session number five, I think. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So last session we actually uh, stopped with a dilemma about refactoring and we did some uh, refactoring for strategies. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but then we, th we figured maybe it wasn't a good idea based on uh, the fact that we were going to do scoring. Um, so let's see where, where this takes us now. So we stopped short. Let's make sure that all our tests are running. Can you, can, can you press Alt-R and see what happens? Uh, I wasn't sure how we had run it last time, so I'll just run it this way. All right. OK. Um, and also, you've installed NCrunch. Right. I haven't tried it yet, though. OK, so let's try to enable it. Um, enable NCrunch. And there's this wizard here. Now, I tried NCrunch a bit on my machine. It's a pretty cool thing, but this dialogue when you try to enable it, it's just horrible for newbies. So this is how many cores it should use, max number of background processing threads, optimize for fast test execution, um, run tests in parallel or no, for us no, which, and again, engine execution mode automatically when changes are detected. Uh, you see how many questions now? Uh, ignore tests, ignore all my tests by default. No, I want to run all of them for now. Um, and that's it. So that's that's how easy it is to get started. Because you really <laughs> need to know what you're doing. Uh, but once you get started, it's a pretty cool thing. So right now it's running tests in a separate thread. And uh, 14 tests are being monitored. And um, let's see, maybe we should put it here. I'm not sure what would be a good, good uh, clip here. Um, we'll see. What if we just uh, here? Maybe we don't need it. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, now you can see the coverage, which line is being covered. And you don't even have to press save for the tests to run. And that's, so that's really cool. So if I, uh, like if I uh, return like this, um, basically already tries to run the tests uh, when it detects some code changes. So if I say equals equals here, just to make a bug. You can see that it says project failed to build, so that doesn't make sense, and we didn't even have to do anything. And now it's running all the tests again. Uh, so if we wanted to see the status, uh, we would say ncrunch risk and progress bar. And that's what I used. So it says OK, basically. So that's what you should care about the most. Um, so if you say small equals, you can see that status immediately changes and that didn't break anything. But if we say uh, big, bigger than, we have nine fat filling tests. Pretty cool, right? Right. Very cool. Um, okay. So, uh, what else do we want to do now? So, you want to, can, can we try to remember what feature we're working on? So, we're working on counting the territories. Um, we have not implemented uh, counting getting points yet. Yeah, right now we have a feature that says that the winner is the first person who, that we find that has any kind of territory, right? Right, right. So, now... What is the simplest test to prove that uh, this assumption is wrong? So we can do it where the um, we can make it so that we can start introducing the concept of, of how many territories each person owns. Sure. So we can like make the first 
the, the first territory that would be found owned by one person that only owns one territory and then the and then for the other player would make it like they own two territories hmm. so it should fail because it'll find the first one which is incorrect right Crap. and we should be it should be fine instead it should be returning the one that was two territories Okay, so we're going to have two players, and one of them is going to have two territories, one of them is going to have one territory, and the one mm -hmm. with two is going to win. Right? Yes. Okay, and that test should fail first. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so you want to try and write that? Yeah. Black owns one cell, white owns two cells. Expect white win. Okay. Right. So, oops. So, I was thinking we might also want to make uh, <clears throat> like a DSL for describing the board. So, for example, um, you know what? Write the test first, and then we'll see if a DSL would help us here. This is uh, two, three, three. So this should be four, six, So we're not making two consecutive cells for white, we're just making two separate territories. Because right now we we have, uh, our code does not handle two consecutive cells. Sure. Okay. Right now our, our code only handles uh, finding uh, for one cell at a time. Okay. So that would be another feature we need to add. Mm -hmm. I think it's written right. in the Excel file. So. But this is not failing. Is not failing? No, you can see all the green, right? My guess is, is because it still takes the last player as the winner by default, if it needs to. If we add a black uh, player a play at the end that doesn't do anything, I think it will fail. Um, okay. Just 12 and 12 or something. Nope. 
Interesting. Interesting. So our test is wrong. Something wrong with our test. What if we just uh, did that for a second? Okay, so we have the board. We have a black territory at the top. Two and two. Three and one. Four and two. Three and three. Okay, and we have a white territory. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the second one is X, right? Just to make sure. The second one is. Say again? The second parameter. Is yeah, X. second parameter is X. The, the, th the third one should be Y. Oh, but I. Uh, okay. So this is X, this is Y. Okay, so that's three, that's two. All these are three, all these are four. Um, interesting. Why did it hmm. say that white? Maybe, maybe our code is amazing. <laughs> Let me comment this out first. Make sure it return, should be returning black. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So you see, if, when they both have, when they both have one, uh, the white one it tends to win. So maybe we should reverse it. We should have two uh, black points, so the the okay. black should win. Um, how should I do this? You still assert that the white wins. Uh. Ah, hmm. we're just too well, maybe, maybe our code already takes care of it. Interesting. Um, you want to debug it and see what happens? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Hold on, hold on. Can you add? Um, let's uncomment this one as well. Okay. I'll make it white just to make sure. Okay. Yep. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> cool. Okay, so let's see. What if we made a breakpoint here? Test with the bugger. I oh, feel this uh, end crunch is making everything run slower. Really? Just my opinion. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Anyways. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. So, what happened? Um, We're breaking in right now. Sure. We're debugging. So I'm jumping in, jumping in. Um jump in probably jump in okay I would just see if the first cell what it returns I don't think we need to jump in let's just okay. debug the outside and see where the bad result is all right so the result is black okay. which should be right because we did that sure mm. and then okay. what happens and the result is not equal to return result Okay, so that's the reason why it wins. Uh, let me. So why does the it. white one win? Right. Because the first well, cell. Interesting. We should um, we should switch this with this, so that white is first. Right. So that way. Why? Oh, but it returns white. You said it returns white, so maybe we should. No, continue. I'm saying that it did return black. Our our search is on black, but when we when 
Let's create another test, uh, the exact opposite test, just like we did before. And we'll see that it returns um, white in the, in the opposite test. So you mean like what we wrote before, what we wrote earlier? Yeah, hold on. Sorry. All right, so we should like change it back to what it was before. No, no, I'm saying let's let's make a copy of the test and make it opposite. Okay. So make sure that okay. we're testing it from both sides. Okay. Uh, I did not rename the Yeah, test so let's rename sure. the previous one <laughs> to black wins. Black owns owns one cell two cells one cell black win. Ah, oh, this is unfortunate. Just copy the test, the text from uh, the middle text from the other test, and then it, it won't reformat. Right. <coughs> Are you trying to make it bigger? Yeah. You think this is fine? Or should I switch all of them? Well, the assert is wrong. Right. So we have two whites and one black territory. But this might return because of the... Um, uh, I don't know. I should have uh, switched the bottom one. Because it's right. the first one that it should be, it's the first right. one where the cell wins, right? Right, so the first one should be a little black, and then the, this one should be white. And then this one should be white. And then this should fail. It's not failing. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, obviously we're just we're just too good. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna run it through uh, the test runner. I don't believe this end crunch. Did, what did it say? Fifteen tests. You know what? Let's since oh, I forgot to add the test part to it. Sorry, I forgot to add the test part to it. That's why. No, I think it should be okay. Okay, this is crazy. Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. I, I have an idea. It, since everything's passing, let's. Uh, what if we could write a test this way? Um, control D. Um, with DSL. Okay. Just to make uh, this variation. What I wish we could do is to write the same test mm -hmm. um, this way. Um, Fill board with um, uh, oh, that's not like something like this. We would have um, uh, like um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's the minimum? Column number? Um, 12, 11? The minimum? Well, we ha yeah, minimum is nine right now. And go. The minimum is nine? Yeah. Okay, and then we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you still need the one. Really? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, I forgot. Cool. Yeah. And then we would have um, let's say uh, empty. Um, you could type out empty for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, well, what I want is for not empty to be white. You know what I mean? So this would be white. Um, oh, so you think it should be like this? Uh, so you would have a white. What the hell is going on? Why is it not letting me write? Oh, because we don't have space. We have white. Does that make sense? Right. Maybe we shouldn't uh, use the com commas here. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah. Sure. Let's not use them. So now we need uh, like this. Yeah, looks good to me. So we can have uh, this, and then we would have back here. We well, made two spaces in between. I did. Oops. Um, like this. Then another two spaces? No. No, this one only has one. Oh, sorry. I messed you up. Dude, this is delicate work. <laughs> By the way, the, te the test you're writing in is black owns one cell, white owns two cells. Yeah. So this okay. is like for the other test. For the other one. Oh, we can copy it. And change it. The big problem here is the empty spaces. What do you think? Is this more readable? It is more readable. I agree with that. Yeah. It should be pretty easy to, to, to generate the board based on that. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. I think it should be. Right. Do we even need um, these numbers though? It might make it... Um, I don't know. What if we just did this? Um, and then I think the num I think the numbers make it more readable. Yeah. But we're gonna have a problem when we reach uh, uh, two digit numbers. Uh, uh, but in right. that case, we might just repeat start from zero and one. You know, actually, yeah. you like. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I agree. I agree with that. That that sounds good to me. Okay. Um. So let let's start try to create that. Okay. Okay. Well, we don't want to make sure the. Oh, I guess the tests are passing. So. Yeah. Um. So where is the report? Oh, now it's. Oh, I guess you. Uh, <laughs> w. 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 Cool. Um, uh, called map. Still map. Okay, so this would be like basically um, a loop, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Or int i equal, um, but we would start from uh, one, right? Right. Up to. Or is it still zero? Hmm? Yeah, but we would need to. St we don't care about the numbers. We just care about the. You understand what I mean? Right. The inner loops. We just care about what's after the numbers. So, uh, but here let, we'll start with nine. Uh, so it would be until ten, and we would use from one. Right. And then there's another inner loop. And 
to one. Um, so, like the the simplest, stupidest code we could think of, just just to to generate this code, so it could be. I think this is actually uh, pretty what? easy. Just board add stone, and then if but if if not empty. Yeah, right. just just if so we just need to get the string first, right? Right. Uh string S equals um with stone map. Well how do we treat the stone map uh huh, in this way? We we didn't we didn't figure that. Maybe we'll just create it as an array. Array would be easy, yeah. Uh, okay, well, less less readable, but I'm pretty sure we can just calculate the the position right based on i and j. Right. Yeah. It might be easier just get the line, um, and then where there is a w or a, a b. So instead of like instead of like a so instead of a for loop inside for loop, you just get for each line and then. You get for each letter, starting from one. Yeah, but how do you get the lines? How do you split it by line? Uh, for but it's based on new line. Yeah, okay. I mean because it's actually I don't know if there's a string method to do that. Split, just split by line. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and, and for each... Uh, and for four. I think we need a four to, to get the line number. Oh, yeah, we don't know what, what the line number is. Yeah, you're to right. the lines. Um, you need to do the lines now, count, count. Sure, sure. And uh, starting from one. Really? Oh, yeah, that's true. I think count is a uh, capital C, where it's size. I think it's length. Right. Um, okay, and in that case, we would have. <coughs> you start. You can start from one until the end of that line array. The. So I guess you would write line equals lines i. Yeah. String line equals lines i. And then we would do basically a. Another for loop, yeah. yeah. Uh, to line length. Right. Starting from, starting from one, because you want to skip the numbers on the side. Sure. And then it would just be, you check it if it's empty first. Why don't you uh, give it a try? Okay. I think it will be faster. Uh, so get a, get a string, I guess? Yeah, the string. So I, I would say, it's, I don't know. How would, would I call it? Cell sure. equals line J. Right? Sure. How come it's a. Uh, oh, the care. Okay. Even easier. Oops. What the heck's going on? Okay. Okay. Uh, if cell not equals space and just if cell equals Yeah, we need the board. We need to give it the board object. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Hmm. Let's make it a full.
Does that look right to you? Well, there's something that doesn't compile here. Yeah, we need a parameter here. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should make board first. Sure. Might make it look nicer. There. Okay, now we just need to remove the other ones. I mean, Oops, this whole, uh, this whole thing. Um, I mean, this. Okay, now it's failing. So what the hell? Maybe we typed in something wrong. <laughs> you know Very what we cool. should do? We should, you know, well, well, the, the assert is, you said that this board is actually matches the other test. Oh yeah, you're right. So this should be black. Should be like this. Wait, wait, I guess we could just replace all. No, just, just. Oh, come on. So you black like this. Black. <laughs> I think that's easier. White. White. Failing. So you know what we need to do? We need to put this in a, in an existing passing test that we know that we trust. Mm -hmm. So we proceed for break existing tests. Okay. So what are some simple tests we can? Uh, the simplest test we can we can think of here. Maybe like this. Yeah. Um, so we would have a one. So we would have a black at number two, right? Okay. And black at number one. Delete everything else. True. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. Yeah, uh, I think we don't have the full lines at number four and five and six, so maybe that doesn't. I think the loops are are all wrong. Really? Yeah. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't need to. I mean, add you see that? I mean, I mean, it it fails because the, the strings end. End. At, the I mean, the I and J end here. You can see that. So well, it, it looks like this test is passing, right? No, it fails now. Oh, you. Th oh, yeah. I thought that this. Yeah, because we are still doing it right, right here. Okay, yeah, we can re remove that. At least one cell, one for black, right? So we should remove that. Okay. So this means the other test is failing, right? It's not this test that's failing. Well, I guess we can see that exactly by uh, going to the tests. Yeah, one cell the, the DSL. Okay. Okay. What okay. do you think? I think it looks good. I think we should jump into the to the other tests and figure out why it's failing. Okay. Maybe it's supposed yeah. to fail. Actually, I want to know why the <laughs> other one test is passing. But <laughs> well, let's um, well, let's replace this one as well. Okay. I think it will not pass now as well. Okay, nice. Is there something wrong with our ad uh, still? Maybe. Hopefully. Um, okay. So I'm still scared that our DSL is wrong. So let, why don't we replace all the other tests with the DSL? Okay. 
you want to comment these two tests out so we can see green? Um... Yeah. True. Yes, that's a good idea. Um, where is it? It's you want to keep your fill board? Yeah. So. We're green. Yay! Everything works. Okay, I think it will be faster <laughs> if you do it on your end. All right. So it will be fast. You just copy from the simple tests. All um, right. Where was that simple test? Okay. Or this one is get position status. No, it's not the Yeah, status. but we can we can say that there is no board. Oh, maybe no. Sure, but here it would be good. Yeah. So this one was one and oh, one. I should I should have to delete it first. And just one one. So B, this one. Should I just comment it out for now? No, just delete it. We have source control, right? Uh yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. This one's the same one as that. Okay. It's green. Oh, it's red. Oh, what do I do? Hold on. A board get. What? 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 What did you, did you replace? The one one. No, there was one two. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same board, but the get to position status is now different. Okay, so, okay, replace it. Okay. Now it fails. Okay, so let's find uh, the problem here. Uh, you want to debug it? Yeah. Okay. So. I want to see the status of board first. Um, so empty one one should be filled. Well, everything else is filled. One two one. Everything else it's saying is filled. So yeah. So uh, let's go to the field board. So. Okay, so what's the best way to look at this? Should I add another breakpoint in here until it's one two? It's, it's gonna be no. Let's just let's just start. See what happens. So one one should sell. Oh, it's because if there is no, if you're the not sell is currently wrong. The sell it means one. So it, 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 it doesn't treat the one cells. It, it, the cell is a number. The cell is a number? Yeah, look at the cell. Uh, you see, it's right here. Right. We're starting at one. Though. What's a line? A line is... Oh, it's looking at the... How come this... How come... A line... Is what... What's lines? It's supposed to be slash oh, the R. First one, it starts at uh, starts at one because we have a empty. We have a new line right here. Which new line do we have? About? No, which which new line do we have? Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay, so we should always uh, do um, what do you call it? Trim on the string first. Um, what do you call yeah. it? trim or? Is there's a function that uh, removes all the uh, all the extra stuff, all the extra spaces. All the extra, okay. From both sides, so I think it's called trim. So the way you do it is uh, <coughs> stone map equals uh, stone map dot trim. Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's try. No. 
I don't think it gets rid of empty lines. Uh, only uh, it gets rid of all the spaces at the beginning and at the end. Right, but the problem we're having is that empty line on the first on the first line. Right. Yeah, but that would have been trimmed. That's what I'm saying. That uh, if we put a breakpoint here. Yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, you want to try yeah, and right. repeat that, or let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah. So if you look at the stone map, there's still uh, a dash N in the front. Yeah, well, oh, we we need to look into that. No, no, hold so on. Let's step, step to the next level, uh, to the next uh, step. Okay. Okay, so you're right. It is trimmed. Okay. Oh, so man. now let's let's see what happens. Split by line. I think we should split by slash R slash N maybe. Uh, uh you're right. So is B. So this one should be right. Okay, so then it's one, two. So it's so now. Yeah, you're right. Dash R. Dash uh, R dash N. Slash one B R. Okay, so so which is slash R so which is split by slash R first. Right? Okay. And then for each line we would just say line I uh, trim as well. Mm -hmm. And that way, you see now it passes. You didn't have to debug. Nice. But I still went to debugging before I noticed. <laughs> um, Alright. Okay. Cool. So now, what if we uncomment the last test that we're, we're passing when we expect them to fail? Hmm. Okay, what about the the one just before? Can you do it? Okay. So this one this one might be failing for the right reason. Maybe we don't have that feature. So we don't know. So let's replace all the other tests. So let's see what happens. No, I think this one we the winner should be black. For some reason we have it white. But your test name is wrong. In that well, case. this one's two blacks. One of one. Yeah, this one was. This one was a copy of this one. And we didn't this replace the search. And then, yeah, we we replaced the wrong test. Remember, you made a copy of this one and added DSL to it. But I never replaced the original, the, the one that should have been replaced. Yeah, so this one's supposed to replace um, this one up here, so... Wait, but, but this is the one that fails. Right, so let's get this, let's get rid of this one. This one's the exact copy of the, of the bottom one right here. Yeah. So. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Fix anything while I was on the phone? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. So we should probably delete this one because it's a duplicate of the. the Are you sure? Here. I thought it was the 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 opposite of the one that was. Right. Was, uh, that was green. Right. So now they're all passing right now. So we should, I kind of want to look into, I want to kind of dive into this and see So why. these two tests, we didn't expect them to pass, right? Right. Did we replace about, about all the other tests? Uh, we have not replaced the other tests yet. So I you think, look, because, because I, I have to finish uh, soon, so let, why don't we uh, finish up by fixing all the other tests with the DSL? Okay. And then we're going to have to finish for today. Maybe we'll continue at night, but uh, I really have to go and pack. Okay, no worries. Okay. So let's replace the, all the other test DSLs. Let's make sure we're on the right track. And okay. we'll have a good uh, infrastructure to, to run the test yeah. later. 
it's a mind boggling for me though why it's <laughs> well, it's not mind boggling it's frustrating it is mind boggling <laughs> it's interesting why is it not passing but uh, well this one should be two one white. two one white Oh, how are we gonna do the stuff where, where what we, where we don't, because right now it's adding the stones. Well, I guess this, this is more like a setup. It's basically yeah, it's a set. How are we gonna do what? So like, oh, I'll show you in the next one. Let me make sure this passing. Okay, so this one, actually, is it not this one? Like this one right here, this test right here. So. Sure. What's the problem? Well, I guess we just don't, we don't... We don't care. We don't... I'll repl I don't replace this bottom one right here, the one I highlighted, right? No, but here's the cool thing. You can use fill board three times. All it does is just sets sets up the, the locations, right? Oh, yeah. So you can... That is cool. Yeah. So I can... But would it, would it make sense? I don't know. I think this is readable. So we can add one, two, two, and two. Uh, I mean, what what I'm saying is that it's more readable if you just say add board after that, add stone instead of two like, field boards. Like this? Yeah. Actually, I think I might have written it incorrectly. Sorry about that. Um. So we one, have three. a yeah. Yeah, I did this incorrectly. One. Three. So it's white right here, black, two, three, and a white, and a white right here. So. Isn't it so much more readable now? It is. I like, and it's so, it's easier to write. So this is what they meant by DSL. I guess so. I don't know, one of your guys' comments. Sure. So. I don't think we don't we even need to go up to nine. We can just use like up to five. Because yeah. it only fills whatever it cares about. You want me so I should do that? No, I'm just saying that for the future test we can just make them. Oh yeah, for the future. Right. Or just remove it's, the pass rows. Oh, uh, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> yeah, you can just remove rows six to nine here. And that's it. Yeah. Control shift L. Right Sorry? I can do that. Uh, and copy this one. I, I think it's uh, yeah I think it's nice this way. Hold on, I think that's the last one, right? Oh no, we still have one more. Okay. Yeah, got a little bit left. I think it will actually work because we do trim, even if you tap the, the string more to the right, so it will be more into the middle of the code. I can try that. Yep. How, how far should I put it? In? Just like after, I think just after the at sign. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that's more readable. What do you think? I think so too. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Don't touch anything. I guess this end crunch is pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of like it. After the initial annoying setup, it's pretty cool. Yeah. 
I haven't pressed saved yet, <laughs> so that's a little bit bothersome. I don't know if it's automatically saving for me. Obviously, otherwise you couldn't run the tests. Yeah, I think it's a nice feedback loop. Looks even prettier than before. Uh -huh. Very cool. Not. Oh, it's just replaced. Black three one. All right, I think that's all of it. Nice. Time to commit. Let me tap this. Yep. Programmer, uh, engineer, art. <laughs> Are you getting close? Almost done. I'm just tabbing these things here, dear. Don't worry. <laughs> no, it's really important, you see, honey. All right. Cool. Now we're done. All right, save it. Commit. Uh, can you do it uh, on so yeah so viewers can see? Cool. Um. <laughs> Should I remove the end crunch project? I'll just check in for now. Sure. So. Add a DSL. For. Uh, Playing board. Try to comment about. Not sure why tests are passing. Last two tests are passing. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Alright. Very cool. Okay. Where's where's my push? Okay, Raymond. Um. Let's do, let's do another one, I guess tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, yeah, maybe tomorrow, we'll see what happens, uh, uh -huh. but maybe tonight. So, who? Cool. Um, yeah, just hopefully that was, that was informative to, to the viewers as well. It's mind-boggling, because I'm sure I did the same test, and it failed when I did it. I don't know, maybe I skipped this step. I don't okay. know why it's uh, passing out. I'm, kind of, I'm probably going to dive into it right after cool. and see what. So if you have any any insights later, we can we can talk about them in the future uh, episode. Okay. Cool. See you, Raymond. Right. See you, viewers. Thank you.